here one more time for our dancers and our singers. Aren't they amazing? People ask us what makes us a great city. And I always tell them exactly what you just saw. We're a city that celebrates diversity. We embrace it. Uh, and and this is a, no place like this, uh, like this city in the country. And so I'm really proud to be the mayor here. And so very honored to be part of today's celebrations. And we are so wonderfully pleased that you're here today to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the extraordinary contributions that he made to the civil rights movement in America and indeed the entire fabric of our social consciousness. Congratulations to everyone who participated in the march today. Your participation exemplifies what I believe Dr. King called upon all of us to do, to take action and to stand up for a cause. I know we've got some friends from Alan Gordo here today. I saw them. Thanks for coming out to our city. We appreciate you being here. I see our friends from Mission Rue out here, the Edmonds. I saw them in their group. Director Bell, thank you for being here as well. And I know I saw uh, Dr. Bailey out there, uh, who's our new director of the NAACP. There he is, my good friend, and a, a great mentor to me. Thank you for being with us today, Harold. You know, through his teachings, his acts of peaceful, <clears throat> and his acts of peaceful civil disobedience, and his natural ability to inspire others through his words. Man. Dr. King was one of the most prominent and courageous leaders we have seen in the history of this great nation. The progress he made in just a few short years laid the framework for the civil rights gains that we've made today. And his work continues today in neighborhoods, at kitchen tables, at city halls and schools across this country, in our state capitals, and in the halls of Congress. And despite the risks and the threats to himself, he pursued civil rights for all those who were oppressed. And Dr. King paid the ultimate price for his leadership, and his tragic death marked a low point in our nation's history. And although tragedies continue to take place around the world in our cities, large and small, Dr. King's words sometimes ring truer today than on the day that he spoke them. His words remind us that darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And in the wake of the horrific school shootings at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut, that senselessly took the lives of 20 little angels and six adults, we can be assured by the words of Dr. King that we can make a difference, and we can make a better future if we set as the foundation of our decisions the love of our fellow man. And as I mentioned previously, Dr. King also led people to action, and perhaps that is why, in addition to a remembrance of Dr. King and the celebration of his life, yesterday was celebrated across our nation as National Day of Service. So whether or not you had already planned to do something, take a little time today and every day throughout the year to think about how you can be of service to your neighborhood, your state, and your nation. Whether it's in a big or a small way, selfless actions reflect a tremendous way to honor Dr. King's legacy. Help a neighbor, clean up your neighborhood, read your child, visit a senior citizen, provide a coat to someone who is cold, whatever the case may be, find an opportunity to be of service and help your fellow man. And in closing, as you may, I value the fact that Albuquerque is a community that's known, as I said earlier, for celebrating and embracing diversity. And we must continue to make progress and build on Dr. King's teachings. Locally and on a global scale, we must be vigorous in our pursuit of equality for all people. And we must do this together. We must do it hand in hand. We must do it heart to heart. And the foundation of our future rests upon this very ideal. You know, when I stand by my bed as a Bible, and in that Bible, the book of Isaiah, it says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even you grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not faint. And I know that Dr. King read those same words in his Bible, and I have to believe that they inspired him. I know they inspire me, and I hope they inspire you as well. So in closing, I'd like to read a proclamation that I will be reading again tomorrow morning. Uh, on behalf of the city of Albuquerque, the proclamation says as follows. Whereas the 21st of January 2013 marks the national holiday in honor and remembrance of the birth and the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and whereas Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. guided us towards a mountaintop in which all Americans, regardless of skin color, could live together in mutual respect and brotherhood, and whereas his eloquent, powerful words, his spirit and commitment to nonviolent protests set a moving example of the possibilities for peaceful change through unity and perseverance, 
And we're going to ask Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.